Embark on a journey into the realm of self-improvement with me, revealing the potential of personal growth through enlightening moments. Brief pause. Today, we'll be exploring. Ever wonder how some folks seem to get more done in a day than you do in a week? Well, that's the power of habits for you. Habits, when formed consciously and purposefully, can significantly impact our productivity. In this video, we're going to explore four daily habits that can turbocharge your efficiency. Think of them as your secret weapons, your productivity power-ups, if you will. Ready to dive in? Buckle up, and let's embark on this productive journey. Our first habit is rising early. You might have heard the saying, the early bird catches the worm. But have you ever stopped to wonder why? Well, let's delve into it. When you wake up early, you're gifted with a tranquil slice of the day, a peaceful pocket of time before the world stirs from slumber. This calm period is perfect for focusing your mind and setting your intentions for the day ahead. It's a time when you can work undisturbed, free from the interruptions that become inevitable as the day progresses. Waking up early can also have a significant positive impact on your mental health. It's a chance to start your day on your terms, not in a rush, but with a serene sense of control. This habit can help reduce stress and anxiety, leaving you feeling more grounded and better prepared to handle whatever the day throws your way. And let's not forget about the productivity boost. With fewer distractions and a clear mind, you're perfectly positioned to be your most productive self. Many successful individuals swear by this habit. Consider the likes of Apple CEO, Tim Cook, or the indomitable Oprah Winfrey. They're known for their early rising habits, using this time to get a head start on their day. So, how about setting that alarm clock a bit earlier tomorrow? You might be surprised by how much you can accomplish before the rooster crows. Moving on to our second habit. Prioritization. Ever feel like you're running in circles, busy as a bee but not really getting anything done? Now imagine this. You're at a buffet. Plates are piled high with every kind of dish you could imagine. You want to try everything, but you've only got one plate and a limited appetite. What do you do? You prioritize. You choose the dishes that you like the most or that you're most curious about. You don't just start randomly piling food onto your plate. That's exactly what you need to do with your tasks. You can't do everything at once. You've got to prioritize. But how do you decide what's important? That's where techniques like the Eisenhower box and the Pareto principle come in handy. The Eisenhower box, named after President Dwight D. Eisenhower, is a simple tool that helps you decide on and prioritize tasks by urgency and importance. Tasks are divided into four categories, important and urgent, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and not urgent or important. By categorizing your tasks this way, you can better understand what needs your attention right away, what should be scheduled for later, what can be delegated, and what can be eliminated altogether. Then there's the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule. This principle states that 80% of outcomes come from 20% of causes. In terms of productivity, it means that 20% of your tasks produce 80% of your results. So focus on those high impact tasks first. Remember, it's not about being the busiest, it's about being the most productive. And productivity isn't about doing more, it's about doing what matters most first. You can't do everything, but you can do the important things. And when you focus your energy on those tasks that really move the needle, you'll find that you're not just running in circles anymore. Remember, being busy isn't the same as being productive. With a little bit of planning and prioritization, you can maximize your day and get more done. Our third habit might seem counterintuitive at first. It's taking regular breaks. Yes, you heard it right. Now you might be thinking, aren't breaks just an excuse to slack off? Well, science begs to differ. Studies have shown that taking regular planned breaks can actually increase your productivity. It seems counterintuitive, but let me explain. Our brains are not designed to focus for long, uninterrupted periods. Attempting to do so can lead to mental fatigue, decreased focus, and a reduction in the quality of our work. By giving ourselves a chance to rest and recharge, we can return to our tasks with renewed energy and a fresh perspective. One popular method of incorporating breaks into your workday is the Pomodoro Technique. The concept is simple. You work for 25 minutes, then take a 5-minute break. After every fourth work period, you take a longer break, about 15 to 30 minutes. The magic of this technique lies in its ability to maintain a high level of focus and productivity throughout the day, without leading to burnout. 
It's like giving your brain a mini vacation, allowing it to recharge and prepare for the next burst of productivity. So next time you're feeling guilty about taking a break, remember, it might just be the productivity boost you need. And finally, our fourth habit, reflection. Ever finish a day and wonder where all the time went? Well, folks, this is where the art of reflection comes into play. It's like taking a mental inventory of your day, revisiting the highs and lows, the triumphs and the trials. It's about understanding your journey and learning from it. Now you might be thinking, why should I bother? Well, let me tell you, reflection comes with a host of benefits. Firstly, it sharpens your decision-making skills. When you reflect, you observe patterns, you recognize what worked and what didn't. This knowledge then guides your future decisions, helping you make smarter choices. Secondly, reflection enhances your problem-solving abilities. As you dissect your day, you understand your challenges better. You see the hurdles you faced, the solutions you found, and the ones that eluded you. This understanding can help you tackle similar issues in the future with a renewed perspective. But the cherry on the cake? Reflection boosts self-awareness. It's like holding up a mirror to your actions, thoughts, and feelings. It helps you understand yourself better, recognize your strengths and areas for improvement. It's a tool for personal growth, a stepping stone towards becoming a better version of yourself. So, before you call it a day, take a moment to reflect. It might just be the key to unlocking your productivity potential. So there you have it, four daily habits to boost your productivity. First, rise early and seize the day. Second, prioritize tasks to manage your time effectively. Third, take breaks. They're not a luxury, but a necessity for maintaining focus. And lastly, practice the art of reflection. It's your secret weapon for continuous improvement. Integrate these habits into your routine. You'll find your productivity skyrocketing. Remember, productivity isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Start small, keep going, and you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. Until next time, stay productive. Whatever you do, don't hit that subscribe button. I mean, who needs awesome content delivered straight to their inbox, right?